opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. e5 is a common response that establishes a presence in the center, controls d4, and opens up the queen and dark squared bishop. nf3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e5 pawn, and prepares to castle. nc6 develops the knight toward the center, protects the pawn on e5, and eyes the d4 square. In the scotch game, d4 gains space in the center and attacks the e5 square twice. x4 opens up the center, and is somewhat forced given that white was attacking the pawn twice, and protecting with d6 doesn't work out. nx d4 recaptures the pawn and centralizes the knight. nf6 develops the knight and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. nx c6 captures the knight and forces black to double their c pawns. Bx c6 captures the knight, controls the d5 square and opens up the b file. e5 takes space in the center, attacks the knight on f6 and controls d6. Qe7 develops the queen, attacks the e5 pawn and pins the e5 pawn to the black king. Qe2 develops the queen and unpins the e5 pawn. And d5 places the attacked knight on a center square. C4 takes space in the center and attacks the knight on d5. BA6 develops the bishop, attacks the c4 pawn and pins it to the queen on e2. B3 protects the c4 pawn and prepares to fianchetto the dark squared bishop to b2, where it will sit on the long diagonal. This threatens to attack a trap rook. This threatens to kick a queen. This prevents the opponent from being able to attack a trap rook. This wins material. It is the last book move. The opposing queen is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This wins material. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is best. This forks multiple pieces. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This loses a rook. This permits the opponent to pin a bishop to the king. It is an inaccuracy. That was a free rook. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This is the only move that works. This threatens to win a knight. This stops the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is a great move. This leads to losing a knight. It is a blunder. This is the way to win a knight. This is the only good move. This threatens to win a knight. It is a great move. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. It is excellent. This is the way to win a knight. It is excellent. This pushes a passed pawn. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is good. This wins a knight. This is the only move that works. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. This stops the opponent from being able to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a great move. Right on target. It is best. That knight was free for the taking. It is best. This pins a knight to the king. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is best. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is best. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. This loses material. It is an inaccuracy. This wins material. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. Takes back. It is best. Recaptures. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. This move puts the pawn on a safer square. It is excellent. This is a fair move. It is good. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is good. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is best. This evades the check from the bishop. 
it is best. This fights against the opposing rook for the open file. It is good. This is an equal trade. This is the start of the end game and black is losing. It is good. Recaptures. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is excellent. This evades the check from the bishop. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This activates the king in the end game by getting it off of the back rank. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This is the strongest option. It is best. Right on target. It is best. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is good. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. A very strong play. It is excellent. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is good. This evades the check from the pawn. It is best. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is excellent. That was a free pawn. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is excellent. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. It is excellent. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. Very precise. It is best. That was a free bishop. It is best. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. It is best. This steps away from the checking pawn. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that white got the better of. White outmaneuvered black in the end game.